Hello everybody, JGC Anime here and today we are going to be reviewing Suppose a Kid from the Last Dungeon Boonies Moved to a Starter Town. That's a really long title so I'm probably going to abbreviate it in the actual like review name title. But yeah, this is an anime that if I'm going to describe it is an interesting one. Basically it's kind of what if is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon met like Kirito in a way like it's a very gen overpowered protagonist and I'll, I'll go over to the story summary but yeah let's just hop right into this so basic story summary we meet our main character Lloyd who's like the super overpowered like really like overpowered innocent boy who goes to a town where everyone thinks they're strong and everything but then they just meet this dude who's just, who <laughs> he's called the weakest in his village but he is generally in that world extremely overpowered like how everyone else struggles just to run from one giant uh like grasshopper he can literally eat like 20 without even br breaking a sweat it's a really funny show and i'm just going to be talking about that today so yeah without further ado let's hop right into this so stuff i liked comedy it's very funny it's actually a really good show I, I thought some of the comedy in it was great. Where the action bits were a bit weaker. Like I definitely admit the action was eh, decent at best. But as a comedy, it, it works well. It is, I have, I laughed so much at this show. As even this one moment that I want to describe in which I can describe in the spoiler section. And yeah, I, I look forward to talking about that, but there's just so much great comedy in this show. I generally was not expecting anything major from it, but it's just so much fun. Things I disliked, definitely the action. It was very weak and overall just wasn't that great. Also, the opening was kind of forgettable. I don't even remember the opening. There, there's been a couple anime in these last few uh, times of 2021 where the anime opening, despite the show being a decently good, have had very forgettable openings. Then there's also ones like Soma Spider So What, which are, uh, you could watch my review on Soma Spider So What if you want to hear my thoughts on that show, but its openings were great. I really like the openings for that show. And just sometimes there are good shows with bad openings. This was this one I easily skipped over. I didn't have any regrets for skipping it. I just didn't care. Its ending isn't that much more amazing either but yeah so spoiler free thoughts it was a really good as i said mentioned before it's just a really good watch i didn't love every single aspect of it but i still had a very good time and overall it was definitely one of the better anime of the season it came out in and yeah that's all I can really talk about without spoiling too much, because I really want to describe a bunch of spoilers, so here's a timestamp to when the spoilers are over. But if you have seen the show, I'd recommend sticking around for the spoiler section, as you might agree or disagree with something I say. But yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right into this. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So one thing I definitely like is a lot of the different characters that are introduced in this show. There's like this whole introdu introduction of different girls in the show where one's like this crazy obsessed stalker girl, which is, I thought she was the funniest in the show, but also one of the most annoying. And there's also this, this, this innocent fighter who just wants to like get her name off the bad person list. If that's what, I don't even remember half the stuff in this, but she's one of the more innocent characters. Then there's like this one, I think that she's like a kundere girl, if that's the right term for it, where she's just like all oh, these this calm. And because Lloyd, the main character, withstood a hit from her, she was just like, please, make me your apprentice or whatever you want. I, I promise I'll be good to you. <laughs> it was great. And as I mentioned, this show has some great comedy. One of the probably the funniest things was definitely with the girl I mentioned before, who's probably the most innocent of the group. She's in the room with the kundere girl. I'm just going to keep calling her the kundere girl. And the obsessed stalker girl, and she ends up trying to. While she's in the middle of changing her clothes, the, the main character Lloyd does knock. He even knocks several times to make sure they're there. He accidentally walks in, and then because he's overpowered and, and durable, the girls just pick him up and fling him out the window into a mountain. It was so great. I love that they can do these comedic things because. It's, it's kind of like old cartoons where you just get to see all these funny things that normally you, normal humans couldn't survive. But because the characters are overpowered, it's absolutely hilarious. 
And th there's just so many great things that I absolutely loved about this show that trying to say anything bad is difficult other than the action scenes because the most of the soundtrack is actually pretty good. Not everything sounds amazing, but if you want a good laugh, this is a high recommendation for me. It really made me laugh. I thought the comedy was so good, at least for overpowered standards. If you're not a fan of overpowered characters, then you probably won't like it. But if you are a fan of overpowered characters, you probably will enjoy this as much as I as much as I do. There are some weird stuff. There's some weird stuff in here too. Like there's this one female knight character who is also really into the one raising and helping the main character Lloyd, because apparently she's a lesbian who's really into the character, the wizard character who's raising Lloyd, and she goes evil and. Even despite not having much development as a character, I, I did think it was kind of funny how even though she would always try to beat up Lloyd whenever it came to the to the witch girl or wizard girl, she would always just try to be as gentle as possible. <laughs> and then there's even this one part where she's got the wizard girl tangled up in vines. So she's just like, hurry as fast as you can, Lloyd Dono. Or not, I don't really care. <laughs> She and it's just, it's just really funny as as I mentioned a dozen times now the comedy in this show was absolutely amazing I laughed so much throughout this whole thing and while the villains are definitely a bit confusing I still had a lot of great like memories with the villains not the villains but like the show itself because the villains are actually pretty forgettable I, I, I barely remember the villains like there's this one like dwarf like character who's evil in reveal but she wasn't brought up before, so she's apparently just evil. Okay. And overall, there's just, the villains are probably the weakest part of the show. Like, if the they they basically exist as like one punch man villains, where they'll show up, get one punched, move on. Where they just there's so much mix for the villains. Like, I just generally didn't care about the villains. There was even like one villain who's apparently like this one character the main character really cared about, but we didn't really get to know much about him, so it didn't really change much. And all in all, I just didn't like the villains. So the action and the villains are probably the things I didn't like the most, because they were the most dull out of everything else, other than being the ones who got one punched or one kicked in some cases by the main character Lloyd. There, there was just, the, when I think back upon it, there's not everything, I didn't love every single thing. The comedy is great, and the pacing is actually pretty good. I thought the pacing was pretty good with for a lot of it, especially with how overpowered it kind of shows Lloyd over time, and I definitely like that a lot. But there's also times where I just think, oh, so the villains are working together, and they're going to do this and going to do that. Like, there's sometimes the pacing is really good, but then there's like the villains and I just don't care about them. It's similar to My Hero Academia villains, where I just don't care. But yeah, I guess that's all I can really say because I've been rambling about the same stuff for almost six minutes, so I'm just gonna hop into the conclusion. So we're at the conclusion now. My final thoughts. It's decently good. The action's not that great and the villains are kind of weak, but the comedy is definitely some of my favorite. It feels like One Punch Man material. And honestly, I, I, I like this anime. Was it the best thing that came out in 2021? I think it came out in 2021, or it came out in 2020, I apologize. Is it the best thing to come out? No, but I had a pretty good time. And that's why I'd probably have to rate this anime a seven out of 10. Comedy was good, pacing was pretty good, villains were weak, and the action was pretty weak, but it was still a pretty good anime that I had a pretty good time watching. That's all I can really say, and I thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I try to upload anime reviews at least once a week. And yeah, without further ado, I thank you all for watching, and I shall see you all in maybe future videos if you stick around. Thank you all for listening, and I shall see you all around. Peace!